What is the top reason so many Californians are moving to Tennessee? You're about to find out. Welcome back. This is Robert C. Baker with Move to Chattanooga and Cry Like Realtors, where we teach you everything you need to know about relocating to the greater Chattanooga area, including southeastern Tennessee and northwest Georgia. In this video, I'm going to talk about the top reason why so many Californians are relocating to the state of Tennessee. Now, there already are several videos on YouTube why so many folks have relocated from the Golden State to the Volunteer State. And a lot of those are based on anecdotal evidence or personal stories that those who've moved from California to Tennessee have shared with video creators. So right up front, I want to validate and affirm any personal reason anyone has for moving from California to Tennessee or to any other location whatsoever. As a real estate agent licensed in Tennessee and Georgia, I know that I'm continuously contacted not only by folks in California, but also Idaho, Michigan, Illinois, the D.C. area, Massachusetts, and New York, all who are thinking about moving to Tennessee, or perhaps who are already planning to move to the greater Chattanooga area where I practice real estate. What I want to do in this video is share with you the top reasons so many Californians are moving to the state of Tennessee. So we're going to look at readily available online data, boil it all down, and come up with the top reason. So be sure to stick around because the result may surprise you. First, according to UC San Diego, and the data's been static the past three years, a full 23% of Californians are seriously thinking about leaving the state. What came to me as a surprise is that it is primarily middle-class folk who are the most concerned about the current state of California, and that concern is practically irrespective of political party. UC San Diego notes that Californians making between fifty dollars to $100,000 per year are the most concerned about the state, and that there is a small difference between Republicans and Democrats in that demographic. And according to Forbes, it is not just residents, but also businesses that are fleeing the state. In an article from August 2021, and sharing data from the Hoover Institution, Tennessee is the second destination state following Texas for businesses moving out of California. And that's over a three-year period from January 2018 to June 2021. Okay, so Californians and California businesses are thinking about leaving the state, but where to? In January 2021, Business Insider reported on why so many Californians and their businesses are moving to Tennessee. In that report, we learned that U-Haul data from 2020, the height of the COVID epidemic, showed more people were moving to Tennessee than anywhere else in the U.S. At that time, the president of U-Haul, Jeff Porter, said that people were moving to Tennessee because we have no state income tax and because jobs are plentiful. And in December of that year, literally just a few weeks before filming this video, the LA Times reported on why so many Californians are moving to Nashville, Tennessee's capital. Among the reasons given were that car registrations and gasoline are so expensive in California. We wanted to go to a state where we can actually live and have a reasonable cost of living, said one fellow. And while Tennessee is not at the top of the list of locations Californians are moving to, it is certainly one of the locations. So let's ask why. For many Californians, the state of California has simply become too expensive. That's especially true when it comes to housing. In March 2021, the Public Policy Institute of California produced a statewide survey called Californians and Their Government, which revealed that 90% of Californians believe that housing affordability is either a big problem, 61%, or somewhat of a problem, 29%. 43% of Californians polled said that they were seriously considering moving, whereas 33% said that they were seriously considering moving out of the state and the data doesn't get any better. According to California's Department of Finance, the median home price in October 2021 was $798,440. Naturally, the median home price is going to be higher for some places like the Bay Area and far lower in more remote or rural areas like Alturas or Cedarville. In contrast, the median sales price for homes in the greater Chattanooga area in the same month in 2021 was $260,000, over a half million dollars less. And before I forget, hit that like button if you're enjoying this content. Now, of course, in the greater Chattanooga area, we have luxury homes costing a million dollars or more, especially on our lakes, rivers, and mountains, but you get the picture. That said, you're going to pay more for a home, especially if you move to a more expensive city in Tennessee, like Nashville. In fact, according to Roofstock, the median sales price for a home in Nashville was $429,000 for October 2021, nearly $200,000 more than in the greater Chattanooga area. So you get the picture. Unless you're moving from a remote or rural area in California to Tennessee, you're probably going to get more bang for your buck when it comes to housing. In fact, if you don't currently own a home in California, you may actually have a better chance at home ownership in the state of Tennessee. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, while there are far more people in houses in California, there's actually a higher degree of owner-occupied housing in the state of Tennessee. So again, you may actually have a better chance of owning a home in Tennessee than you do in California. But it's not just homes in California that are expensive, it's energy costs as well. U.S. Department of Labor Statistics reports that average energy costs in the Los Angeles, Long Beach, and Anaheim areas are higher than the U.S. average, whether it's for gasoline, electricity, or for gas used to heat homes. 
Look here, the U.S. average gasoline price in November 2021 was $3.58 per gallon. In L.A. and surrounding areas, it was $4.69, more than a dollar more. As a point of reference, as this video is being filmed in January 2022, gas prices in the greater Chattanooga area are below $3 per gallon. If you live in California, let me know in the comments section below what you're paying right now per gallon for gasoline in California. Add to the high cost of homes and high energy prices, California's high state taxes. The Tax Foundation in its 2022 state business tax climate index ranked California number 48 out of 50 states as having the worst tax climate in the U.S. California ranks number 46 for corporate taxes, 46 for sales tax, and 49 for individual taxes. In contrast, the Tax Foundation ranks Tennessee as one of the top 10 states with the best tax climates in the U.S. Number 26, or about average, for corporate taxes, number 46 for sales tax, our sales tax is high, but get this, number six for individual tax. California charges between 1 to 12.3% in state income tax, whereas Tennessee does not charge state income tax on income earned or on retirement distributions. By now you've determined why so many Californians are moving to the state of Tennessee. Californians are taking a hard look at their wallets and purses and saying, we can do better. And what are Californians getting by moving to Tennessee? They're getting a state that's full of natural beauty, that has rivers and lakes and streams, hills and mountains and waterfalls, a state that enjoys a wide variety of music from bluegrass to country to rock to gospel, has awesome food that goes way beyond barbecue, but the barbecue is awesome too, great schools and colleges and hospitals and places of worship, a state that is fiscally sound, AAA bond rated, and is pro-business, a state that leans conservative, but nevertheless is open and welcoming, and above all, friendly. And so while there are many good and valid reasons why so many Californians are pulling up stakes and moving to Tennessee, the top reason is money. And that's an excellent reason. Hey, don't go. Want to know the pros and cons of living in Chattanooga, Tennessee? Watch this next.